Hey everyone, I just wanted to share this little project with you that I've been working on. This is a brushless DC motor that I built for a project at school. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. The rotor itself is just this aluminum hub that it rides on a couple of small ball bearings and it has these arms that come out and have an N52 neodymium magnet pressed into them. It's got two of these electromagnet coils. There are about 40 feet of wire round in, or wound in 280 turns. It's aluminum wire because the copper stuff was just running too much current. Uh, they're wired up in, in parallel here down to the, the terminal blocks. This is the, the MOSFET that powers the entire thing and it's triggered by this simple control circuit. It's, it's a little bit more complicated than it looks. Or, sorry, it's not, not as complicated as it looks. It's actually very simple. It's all powered by a simple DC power supply. That's all I've got on hand, and that makes it easy. The key to the whole thing is this Hall Effect sensor here. This is a Hall Effect sensor that's housed inside some heat shrink, and it's what senses the position of the rotor. So as the motor's operating, one of the poles will come around and fall in front of that Hall Effect sensor. When it gets to this zero point here where it's kind of locked in to the poles from the magnetism, that's when it'll send the signal to the control board, which inverts it because it puts out a zero when it's on and 12 volts when it's off, and it sends that, that inverted signal to the MOSFET itself. The MOSFET closes the circuit between the power in on the yellow there, which runs into the coils, and back, and that allows it to go back to ground. So. When it's operating, like that, uh, the control circuit here doesn't tell you too much. The green light means it has power and the red light is blinking very quickly. It blinks every time it comes in front of this sensor. That's just how I timed it originally. I can change the speed of the motor by moving the position of that Hall Effect sensor and changing the timing just like you would on, on a piston engine. So if I'm retarding the timing, it ends up running quicker. It can run pretty much indefinitely. The coils don't heat up or anything. There's nothing. The MOSFET is mounted on this big heat sink here, so it has no problems dissipating any of the heat. And uh, overall, it works, it works quite well. It operates very reliably. It's pretty quiet. There's a little bit of vibration just in small errors. I made a machining, but that's also what allows it to, to self-start, so that worked out okay. And it self-starts self -starts reliably, always in the same direction. It'll always go counterclockwise, so I guess the, the rotor itself is just cocked off in one direction there, and it's cocked just enough to let it kick on every single time. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be happy to answer them for you.